Hello residents of the universe, welcome to Ways to Human. My name is AJ. The Bible's book of Genesis tells the story of the creation of the universe, earth, and humans by the God of Abraham. Later, God becomes so disappointed with his creation that he decides to flood the entire earth in order to drown every single living creature. He chooses Noah, his wife, sons, and their wives to become the only survivors by instructing Noah to build an ark and then load it with every species of animal alive. Using the timeline of events outlined in Genesis, experts have calculated the estimated date of Noah's ark story. What you see right now on the screen is a chart that I made using the website Answers in Genesis. These numbers accurately match what I have personally read in the Bible, and the resulting mathematical calculations are widely accepted because they were developed by Reverend Usher in the 1800s. He used the ages given in the Bible for each man born since creation, as well as the ages at which each man fathered a son starting with Adam and ending with Noah. So, according to this data, the global flood from Noah's Ark story allegedly happened in the year 2348 BC. He also calculated that the story of creation in the Bible happened in the year 4004 BC. Why are these calculations so important? They matter because historical events we record in textbooks are used to teach history in schools, and they are based on physical, archaeological, geological, and scientific evidence. With the biblical dates provided for the North Ark story timeline, we can now look at other evidence of existing societies around the world. With such a massive loss of life, due to a worldwide disaster of that scale, it should be easy to find geological evidence of a global flood, as well as fossils of every single living creature that died, including humans, to geologically date that time period. If you trust the science that gives you fossil fuels to fuel your vehicle, then you have no reason to doubt the same science being used to determine whether a global flood causing a mass extinction happened as told in Noah's Ark story. In addition to physical evidence, we shall also see a pause in record keeping for that specific time period. Luckily, many ancient societies have kept incredibly detailed records for their rulers as well as their citizens, including things like land deeds, cattle records, birth and death information, educational material, and other public records. Let's go back to the year 2348 BC. First, the Egyptian dynasties, right in this area. The Egyptian dynasties ruled Egypt around the year 4300 BC until the Roman and Byzantine empires in 640 in the current era. This timeline actually puts Egypt as having existed before the biblical earth creation date of 4004 BC. Unes was the Egyptian king during the years of Noah's Ark's flood. He was the ninth king of the fifth dynasty. There were 25 additional dynasties after his death. The Egyptian rule lasted about 5,000 years. All the way around the world, in Peru and South America, the Caral civilization was in full swing. Radiocarbon analysis of the archaeological site confirms that the development of this civilization can be placed between the years 3000 BC and 1800 BC. The Peruvian Corral civilization reflects the rise of societal structures in America. They had a fully developed complex socio-political structure, monumental architecture including pyramids, 
even evidence of ceremonial functions and symbols of many different gods. Also discovered on this site were remains of something called the Kipu method. In this method, knots were tied onto cords that were connected to one another. And this was a complex ancient Indian civilization record keeping system used to keep track of numerical data. Lastly, one of the most prolific and well-known societies in ancient civilizations were the Sumerians. They ruled Mesopotamia or modern Iraq. The Sumerians settled in that area around 5000 BC until their fall in 1750 BC. But at the peak of Sumerian society during the early dynastic period, which lasted from 2900 BC to 2334 BC, they developed some of the most significant cultural advances, including the first known cities, the development of writing, and the establishment of structured governments. The government in Sumerian society was a form of theocracy, which means that the government and religion were one. Kings were believed to have come from the heavens, and the kings and priests claimed that God gave them divine guidance to rule their lands. All of this happened during the time that the Bible claims the story of Genesis happened, and even about a thousand years after the story of Noah's Ark, again with no break in record keeping during their almost 4,000 years of rule in Mesopotamia. In fact, the Sumerians had such an abundant record keeping that we have found over 2 million clay tablets with their writings from an ancient library discovered in the 1800s. What's interesting is that some of these stories told in the Sumerian tablets, which are called the Enuma Elish, are actually very similar to the stories told in Genesis about the creation of the earth, Adam and Eve and Noah's Ark, but with different characters, locations, and dates. Many experts have suggested that the Bible stories could have potentially been plagiarized from the Enuma Elish stories, which were told thousands of years before the stories of the Bible. But don't take my word for it. Look up the Enuma Elish creation story as well, even the flawed story, which is called the Epic of Gilgamesh. These three ancient civilizations were very well established. They possessed complex record keeping and they left extensive archaeological evidence that we have been able to accurately date and corroborate that no global flood happened at the date that the Bible claims. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe.